Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm about to do a second unboxing of my Geek Box. If you watched the previous one, you'll know that I just did the My Welcome Box, which I, apparently is going to be like my introductory box, I'm assuming, to My Geek Box. I did do a one-year My Geek Box Lite subscription with them, and I think that was supposed to be my introductory box, but I'm not entirely clear on that, so... Not really sure, but I was a little bit eh on the items that I received. They are cool in general, but don't appeal to any of my fandoms, so they're definitely going to be things that I'll end up passing along to other people. So now what I'm going to unbox is a second Geek Box that I received, which I think is the Black Friday Mystery Box that I paid like seven dollars for when I signed up for the actual subscription during Black Friday they had special deals where you could get discounts on past items and while you were signing up for whatever subscription you were signing up for and then I got a bunch of stuff from kind of the same address but I think they were from different subscriptions. So I think this is actually the Black Friday box that I ordered. So we're about to open this up and see what's in this one. Unfortunately, the label just says memorabilia, so I'm not entirely sure that this is the Black Friday box, but that is the assumption that I'm going on, so we're just going to run with it. So if you're interested in my Geek Box or any of the variations that they offer, I will go ahead and include a link down below. Definitely wander over to their website to check out pricing and shipping information. Um, this is a company that is based out of the UK, but they do have a US website now. So I'm not entirely sure if they actually still ship out of the UK or if they actually have a US hub. But definitely take that into consideration when you're looking at shipping information and whether or not that's an option for you. So this is not typically from what I understand, the geek boxes are not themed the way that other boxes are. They are random items that are kind of geared toward geek fandoms, but what those geek fandoms are can be anything and everything, as I learned with the last box. The last box I got a tech, a little tech gadget thing for my phone, a comic book, a Mega Bloks Barbie set, and a coffee mug with Dragon Ball Z on it, just to give you an idea. So, no idea what's going to be in here. It could be the same thing, or it could be just random other things. I already feel something in here that's different, so let's go ahead and check this out. So, we've got a Super Mario minifigure collection. It looks like I got Luigi. And from the way that he's positioned in here, it looks like he might be posable, but it's hard to tell. And he does have like a little stand in there that he's standing on top of. I don't know if you can even see that. That's a little bit better. Okay, so it's a little Luigi. So for Super Mario fans, that's a kind of a cool little item to have. I see a big marble mug in here. We'll save that last. I also have in here, oh, See, now this is cool. This does appeal to me. It's a Harry Potter item. And it is a luggage tag with the platform nine and three quarters sign or logo on it. And that is actually really cool and really cute and unique. Definitely something that would help you pick out your black bag from the millions of other black bags that are on at the airport. But that is something really cute and unique and something that I would use. So I'm happy with that. And then last item in my Black Friday box that I'm assuming is a Black Friday box is a Marvel box, which I'm assuming is going to be a coffee mug. It does look like it's going to be one. Now I've seen this unboxed in other videos. Eric Butts is the one that comes to mind where I think I saw this unboxed. And one of the things that he dislikes about a lot of the mugs that come across, and I agree with him on this, is the fact that so many of them are hand wash only. 
I don't mind that too much in our household because we have a lot of coffee mugs that are like that and we know that we buy that and we know that when we buy them being given mugs that are that way is kind of a chore but it's, it's a cool mug it's venom and it's a molded mug it's kind of a standard coffee mug size but warped a little bit obviously because of the molding on here so, I mean, it's cool if you are a Venom fan or if you do not mind hand washing your mugs. So, that's not a, necessarily a bad thing. But what I, from what I understand from having watched other unboxings, getting mugs like this is fairly common in a lot of boxes. So hopefully, this is not going to be a trend that I'll see in a lot of boxes coming up because I can imagine that that could get potentially annoying pretty quick unless you had a thing for mugs and or had a way to potentially display them. That might be an option, but anyway. So I actually like this box better than my welcome box only because at least they have some items in here that do kind of cater to me. I'm not a huge fan of the mug, but I don't mind it too much. I do like Marvel, but I'm not a huge Venom fan, so it's kind of a mixed bag in that situation, but I do think it's cool, and I do know that there are some people in my life who will appreciate this, and so even if I don't keep it, it will make a nice gift. The Super Mario figure is eh for me. I, I like Super Mario, but I'm not a huge fan, but I could see this being a really fun toy or a uh, figure for somebody who is. And I do like the Harry Potter luggage tag. I think that's a unique thing and is something that I can definitely use. does appeal to one of my fandoms. I do like Harry Potter stuff. So this box was definitely better for me than my welcome box, and I'm encouraged. I'm hoping that... That's going to be kind of how things go with this particular subscription box. There might be some hits, there might be some misses, but in all cases, at least the items that I get are things that I can pass on to other people who I know will love them. So that's kind of a win anyway in my book. So I have a lot of birthday gifts and other holiday gifts ready to go already and it's only January so that's not so bad right so anyway let me know did you get these items do you like these items is this a subscription box that you've used in the past definitely let me know if I have more to look forward to or if I'm gonna potentially regret this keep me updated let me know down below if you do like this video please do give it the like and subscribe if you would like to I would certainly appreciate having a larger audience and hopefully inviting you back into my home to experience more unboxings to come because the year is just getting started and there's more coming so we will look forward to seeing you back for a future unboxing until then have a great day Bye.